Okay, we're going to now go ahead and remove the control valve from the media cylinder. Uh, basically, this should be hand tight. You never want to use like a strap wrench or anything on here because you can crack the plastic housing and or the tank. So you're going to just go ahead and unthread this valve. And then you'll disconnect your D-tube. And something at this point in time you want to look at, you do want to inspect your O-rings here uh, where they connect to the bypass valve. And you also want to look at your O-ring seal from the valve to the cylinder and then the O-ring that's inside to the D-tube. Uh, do an inspection of those if they're damaged or flattened out. Um, you may want to go ahead and have those, you know, replace those. And also at this, uh, did want to explain something. If you have a Pro-Ox with Chemisorb uh, layer on top or a uh, Chemisorb type filter, uh, you're going to have a top screen that's going to be on the valve. Uh, for this purpose, we're uh, pr assuming this is a carbon uh, setup for this particular one, so you would not have the top screen. But if you had the Pro-Ox or the Chemisorb, you would have a top screen on there, so you would see that top screen as well. So we're basically going to dump the media that's in this tank out on a tarp. Um, so to reduce the weight, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead, uh, use something like a siphon pump or a siphon hose. Go down the D-tube as far as you can, all the way to the bottom, and go ahead and siphon as much water as you can out. Uh, remember, these are about two-thirds full with the gravel in the bottom and the media in there. So putting it in the D-tube allows you to also get some of the water out of the media, which will make the cylinder a little lighter and easier to move and dump onto the tarp. You can also take this opportunity, if you can, to go ahead and remove the D-tube. Um, sometimes uh, these are harder to do if uh, there's a lot of media in there, a larger tank, because remember your gravel does come up to here and then you have your media in here. So if you can pull the tube out, great. If not, you can wait till you dump it out to uh, actually remove your D-tube. Okay, so we have our uh, cylinder Lay down on a tarp, uh, what we do is kind of elevate this end up. You can use a normal garden hose with a uh, spray faucet nozzle on it. Continue to hose it up in there and tilt it up and down. Uh, here in the shop we actually uh, rigged up a little deal with a hose fitting on the end of it and uh, schedule 40 PVC. And we're able to run this actually up inside the tank and flush the media out onto the tarp. So you want to just keep rinsing this and flushing it. Ending it up, uh, you know, and dumping it out as you can. Keep working at it until it's empty. So as I mentioned before, this video covers uh, all the different type of media uh, that we would be using with this control valve. <clears throat> One thing we do suggest, if you are using a carbon system, uh, you're going to want to soak this with a cup of bleach prior to um, installing your control valve. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is install the D-tube back into the tank. Uh, what you want to do is inspect the basket end here. Make sure there's no cracks or broken uh, pieces in here if you see that. Also you want to look for scratches up here where your O-ring seats. Um, if you see any of that kind of damage, uh, you're probably going to want to replace your D-tube. So we're going to go ahead and put the D-tube back into the cylinder. And as you can see, this is not placed in there properly because it's above the lip of this tank. You want to make sure that those are level. Uh, this, there's a little divot that fits down into kind of an easy way to do that. Spin it like the top. It drives it down and as you can see now we're level. So our D-tube's ready to go. So we have a couple of different type media funnels. One is a blue funnel with a clear hole in it. The other one is a black funnel that actually has a cap for the D-tube. Uh, you don't, never want to get any media down inside the D-tube. That's what you're drinking water. You, you know, the water comes down over the media and flushes back up to the D-tube. So you want to make sure that's capped. Uh, the other thing you want to be careful of is once your media is in here and your D-tube's in, you never want to pull the D-tube up because the media, the gravel at the bottom will then uh, flow in underneath this. It'll stick up too high and you potentially have to dump it all out and start all over again. And if you've gotten to this point already, you know you don't want to do that over. So you have the blue funnel, go ahead and make your, take yourself a piece of tape. 
And make sure you give yourself some buddy tabs on both sides. So you want to make sure you seal this so the media doesn't get in there, but you also want to make sure you can get it back off without pulling the D-tube up. So don't uh, get that on there so tight that you can't get your fingers down in there and remove the tape. So with the blue funnel, basically, then you would just put on top and pour your media in. Um, for this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and use the black funnel since we have it. Again, if you use the blue funnel and you're removing it, have your finger on top of that D-tube before you pull the tape up. So you don't pull that D-tube up out of there. And again, the black funnel, got the little tab there. Pop it on like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead first and we send the correct amount of gravel and the correct amount of media for each size tank. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, you're about two thirds of the way full is, is where you should be. So the gravel looks like this. So this is the first thing you're going to put down in there. This basically covers the bottom of that D-tube up through your uh, filter. <clears throat> and then whether you're using, you know, ChemSorb or Proox or um, your carbon, you'll go ahead and fill in the amount of product that we sent to you for your size tank. Okay, so once you've got that all filled, we're going to remove the funnel. And as I mentioned earlier, for the carbon systems only, go ahead and fill this up and then add a cup of, uh, just uh, for the carbon filter, just leave water. You just want to let it soak for about an hour. If you're using Proox or ChemSorb, Go ahead and fill it up and add a cup of bleach and let it soak for about an hour. But you don't want to soak the bleach with the carbon. That's why we did the disinfecting before we installed uh, the carbon. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the control valve. Uh, there again, you have the two O-rings here and here. And also your two that attach to your bypass valve. So what you want to do is take a little uh, lube put on there and make sure those get coated so the next time you need, if you ever need to remove it again for service uh, hopefully it'll come off smooth for you so go ahead and just put a nice little thin film of that around there and again if you have a uh, you know Proox or ChemSorb you're going to have this top filter that snaps in there uh, in this case we don't have it but in some cases you will have that Okay, we'll go ahead and get that D-tube seated and thread this on. Again, hand tight. You want to get the O-ring sealed, but you don't want to crack the valve body and you don't want to crack the tank. So just give it a good tightening. And it should work. 